I see another lady coming. We're just going to go ahead and start because I don't want to keep you. Right. Mm -hmm. Wait. Yeah, I have to look right into it. Yes, yes. I'll pick up my son. Yeah. Oh, here okay. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, two. Hi. Yay. There's a name tag for you. Okay. You sit anywhere you like. Okay. Um, please help yourself to refreshments. Okay. I have a little half sheet survey I'd like you to fill out and leave. And in the bags, you'll find a program guide for reference during the discussion. Okay. Does everyone know where the restrooms are? Please feel free. They're where you came in, oh, directly right. across from the elevator. Okay. The elevator. Okay. okay. Um, please feel free if you need to get up or if you want some more to eat. You know. Okay. All right. I've been with Park District nine years. I'll let Sue talk to you about what she does. I, um, I work with Nancy in the marketing department um, uh, with public relations, and press releases, and media relations, and, and also grants. And I've been with the Park District for 11 years. Nice to meet all of you. Here. Yes, Sue's so been very successful getting grants for the Park District. Today we're here to discuss the program guide and it's not that we're not interested in other comments. We are, and we'll be happy to take them. But if you could hold comments that don't pertain to the questions I ask until the end, we'll, we'll still be glad to take them. Okay? My first question, though, is are you talking only about the printed guide or also online? Both. Okay. Both. Okay? There's one that's My first question, and these first ones pertain to the current guide, and you'll have a copy, everybody found their copy, for reference. Um, I need to know what you like about the current design of the program guide. It's easy to find things. Easy to find the table of contents and you can go right away. <laughs> okay. I totally yeah. disagree with that statement, but... <laughs> then please, voice yeah. yours. Here's your name. My kids are now nine and six, and I'm not mm -hmm. sure. It seems to depend. I never found the table of contents, so I'm shocked to see it there. This, <laughs> is, a, so this is a very busy page. Work. Very busy. I wish there were an index. So maybe someone could write that down. There needs to be an In index. Back. Yeah. Um, youth for fitness and wellness, I suspect, is different ages than youth for general interest and youth for arts. Um, so I don't know where my six year old is, honestly. And some of the programs seem to go for eight to eight years old, but then all of a sudden there's something for up to seven to eight years old within the same section. Yes. yes. Probably not going to say anything we haven't heard, so please yeah. don't hold back. <laughs> okay. Okay? Anyone else have any thoughts about the current design? What you might like about it? Yes. When I go on the site, I can pull up the catalog. Yes. The if I'm on my iPad, if I go on... I can't remember if it was Downers Grove, Park District, or Lyle. I couldn't pull up their guy. So we've got that going for it. We do. Okay. All right. My second question is to ask you how you use this hard copy. When this lands on your doorstep as it's going to next week, how do you use it to register the program? My son and I look at it for fun, mm -hmm. and we talk about what would you like to do mm -hmm. this upcoming season. So it's better to me than the online version. Yes. Yeah. I like that. For browsing yeah, with yeah. your child. Yeah. You hear that highlight? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. unanimous. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks. The hard copy is a favorite. Yeah. You wouldn't oh, want that to go so away. Well, well, no. <laughs> Okay, anybody else? How do you use it when, when it arrives? I yes. love getting it. I mean, I'm always excited to get the next one. Yes. You know, um, and then I, I look through 
almost the whole thing just to see what, you know, maybe to her point, um, you know, I look through everything because I'm afraid that if I just look like, say, in the senior area or yes, something, absolutely. I'll miss something that I might have liked. And I look through, if there's anything my grandson too that he might be. So I like the hard copy and, you know, I mark it up and have tabs and everything. Great. Great. Thanks for taking the time to do that. We appreciate it. Do you guys still have the location map? That used yes, to be on the it's back? in the back, and it's an open out. Oh, oh, okay. oh! All right, I love this. How about our virtual program guide? Do you use the virtual program guide, the one where you flip through oh. on your computer? No. Just to tell you that if you ever need to, and you go in there, all those program titles are linked directly into Rec and Roll. So it's one click will get you in. Okay, just if in the future you want to give it a shot. And that's a very big job. So I want you to know that exists. I, I can't remember if it's the Naperville Park District, but I had a problem printing one page off of the electronic version. Okay. All right. Um, so I could put it on my fridge? Yes. I think it was in the Park District. I guess okay. All right. And that's I do that all the time. So yes. Okay. So I had to I had to print the screen. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm with you. It's a mess. Yeah. All right. We will check on that. Was that from the virtual guide or was it from it was the rec and roll? What's the difference? Rec and Roll is the actual registration software where you're in there. You're going to see the description. You add it to your shopping bag. Maybe I was going into Rec and Roll okay. as opposed to the virtual one. Because the virtual one is the one that it looks like a book and you flip yeah. it. It'll, it'll, have print this, print easily, it'll have this thing cover yeah. on it. But so you couldn't print from Rec and Roll? Yeah. Okay. So, try that. But we'll look into it. And actually, I know I understand the difference between the two that you just mentioned. Yes. But from a user perspective, I know, um, I don't know if they were still trying to add it, to be able to search by age. Yes. Um, would be so immensely valuable. And one person from an, who had been in another, sorry, I belong to a play group, and I posed this question to our play group for other feedback, that yes. it would show by family member all the programs that were eligible based on their age. Okay. So I think that would be really too. Yeah. All right. Get that. Noted. Okay, I have a number of questions to ask you about the features of this program guide, and they'll be pretty quick to answer. Do you use the program guide index to locate programs within the program guide? <laughs> if there is one, I've never seen it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's part of the map, but it's next to the last page is the index. So I've used it. Okay. No. 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 Look, ballet adult, ballet basics. What does that mean? Exactly. So you're saying it would be more useful if perhaps it was grouped the way the program guide is grouped or? Well, no, because I don't think that's good either. Um, by attended member or attended student. So age of, of? Yeah, I mean, is ballet basics for an adult learning ballet or exactly. is it for an Imani and me? Exactly. Okay. Um, All right, so most of you don't I don't, see, I don't see swimming. Thing. Well, oh, swim lessons, indoor and conditioning. It's not, I so know. I've used it before, but it's not consistent, right? So again, it goes back to the point it's not yes. consistent in how it's organized. It's, yes. It's either, it's, it's mixed, right? Yes. And so some are specific to like Sky Yoga, right? You're right. going to have all of like, all your stuff going on there by the group offering it versus what it actually is. So either yes. it's going to be, it's going to be age, group offering it, or what it is. I think the easiest would be what it is. Yeah. Because then you, if you're looking for baseball, you see all baseballs. Yes. You know, and then after that, you can say it's the T-ball one versus mm -hmm. the adult versus whatever. But and I know you offer prenatal yoga, or you used to, because I've taken it, and yes. I can't find it. 
yeah. under yoga, sky yoga. Right. Because you know why? Because there are two different yogas, right? That's what I'm saying. There's USI. a yoga that's a sky yoga, and then there's a yoga that's like the other yoga. Yes. yes. So that's you know that USI applies to for, mm -hmm. you apply for yoga. universal spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So I would put all yogas together. Yeah. Okay. I hear you. Yeah. Any other thoughts on that index for us? Okay. But look, they have free ballets, not with ballet. No wonder I was so confused. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. How useful is the map provided in the program guide? So I use the map, but it's really hard yes. to find the numbers because they're not like in a logical order. Right. Okay. So I would almost prefer like, you know, and actually now it starts to show me the range where to go. Cause I, think that, I don't know if that's new or not, but I I. I need the map because I was, I was new, new to the board, to yes. the area, and I was trying to find um, things. That, and I'm also a self neighborable person, so yes. I was trying to find ones that were more in my area. Sure. And so I it was It'd hard be to great find. to list them online by location. Yeah. So Patterson, that's right around the corner for me. Yeah. Nike Park is at the other new town, so I yes. would prefer to. Yes. Yeah. To locate. Yeah. 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 My boys were in soccer, and I just kept this in the car. <laughs> yeah. The interactive one, maybe, so you can click on the names and then it shows you. Check out our website, Parks and Facilities, and see if you like the way it's laid out there for location. Okay? It's grouped. Right? Or did you get rid of the grouping? It used to be it's a... alphabetical, so okay. you can choose your part. How do you... But okay. it's, it's been revised and tied to the Or driving the directions. Line. And that's relatively yeah. new. So if you haven't jumped on there to check in a while, okay. I know we're talking know. two different things. We're talking about mm -hmm. a program guide yeah, to the website, right. but take right. a look. Yeah. Each other. Okay. Do you find the fonts currently in use? in hard copy. Readable. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Unanimous. Okay. Are the tabs printed on the side of each program guide page useful? There's too yes. many. Yeah. Too many? Yeah. But too I look at the side, I'm like, wow, okay. Okay. Like 15 of them? I use them. I use them. I use them. Yeah. That's yes. yeah. Great. <laughs> you figured it out. Huh? Okay. I guess when you're flipping through it, you can read the titles, but as far as just looking at the bleeding edge, that isn't something that's that I normally do. No. But I do like seeing it on the page itself as I flip through. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, so you know you're in that section. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm in culinary. Are the headings at the top? of the pages useful to you. Yeah. And that would be oh, yeah. you know, yeah. fitness and wellness, adult fitness and wellness. I think it's still still not sure where to go for some things. Yeah. But in your case, yes. Yes. Because mm -hmm. I think it's just a backup to the tab, you know. Yes, it is. Yeah. Right. Yes. Another way to look at it. Yeah. Okay. Are the program guide page numbers located at the top of each page in the correct position for you when you're paging through this? Page numbers, influence. I usually have the page on the bottom. On the bottom. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You'd prefer them on the bottom? Yeah. I we have a couple yeah. saying yes, the bottom. Just psychologically, you're used to seeing Down there. Yeah. Okay. Bottom. Got some agreement. Okay. Right. Does printing the program guide titles, tabs, page numbers, and call-up boxes in color draw your attention to them or make them stand out? Definitely for me. Definitely. The colors like pop. Yeah. 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 It's a good it grabs your attention mm -hmm. and you think, oh, this yes. might be important. Better than like black and white, yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. When you talk about the call-outs, do you mean like, you know, oh, yes, the weather Yes, anything canceled? boxed in and, you yeah. know, Because some shaded. of it can be a little busy. That's We've why heard that. Lots of adults. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yes. the destination, does that apply? The sled hill and we're on the oil painting page? I mean, yes. Yeah. So, you think perhaps 
when you're more looking more context if, sensitive. Yes. Yeah. Okay, more context sensitive on those call up boxes. We've yeah. heard that too, so this is great. Anybody else want to talk about that color? Everything? Okay. Would you like to see more photos or fewer photos in the program guide? Photos sometimes give me an idea of what the class is about if my child yeah. never taken that before. Mm -hmm. I like the photos. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Photos? In the right number you think? And okay. Well, we may be done sooner. So you want to be <laughs> trouble making those great cuts. <laughs> I forgot mine had early day today. It's 2 o'clock. So that is right here. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Do the program guide descriptions provide enough information or not enough information? Yes. One thing I noticed that Naperville um, doesn't do that most of the other park districts do. They tell you who the vendor is who's teaching the, the teacher. Oh. So it's right, like, a little bit about the teacher. Right. Or it's like a mad science versus school science. Or they're different companies. Yes. And I prefer one over the other because I That's one. good. Yeah. Um, yes. So, yeah. That, that, or just the teacher's name and some of the other park districts give like a background of the like a little bio yeah, like, of, was, like yeah, all the even like a website like if they have a website like you know to go and look mm -hmm. and learn That's more about one. it or something uh -huh. yeah that's a good one. yeah that yeah. is a good idea you're like handing off your children to a stranger exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. and also for the, um, for the um, culinary especially now that they're promoting it so much yes I was looking at classes and like for example for the Mexican fiesta um, it says you know venture beyond tacos and experience the rich flavors of Mexican cuisine learn new techniques and prepare delicious meals but it doesn't say what what right. so if it's going to be something that I don't like I have Why no would you intention know intention of spending the two hours versus if it was a dish that I've been trying to learn how to make so I would sure. definitely incorporate the recipes which most of like you know the other places that offer the classes will definitely do that. Yeah. So, so you know kind of what at least the titles yeah. in print of yeah. what you're going right. to be Right. Tacos, guacamole, salsa. Yep. You know. So then you could take it again another time if it was new stuff. You're right. Yes. But it's I think, and I think also on the culinary side, because I know I've been trying to figure this one out too. Is like, is it? Are they all hands on, or is it watching? Right, because like it's a big, you know, it's a big difference. Yes, if it there is. is a big difference. And that's interesting because I assume they're all hands on. Are they or? I believe most, most are, are, but it should right. say that. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've been hesitant to sign up because I, I want it to be hands on, but right. I want sure, it to be really right. hands on, so I'm going to have to make a phone call and ask that question. So that, yes. that's, yeah. you know, and, and if, or if they are more just watching, then. You know, like elegant that. appetizers, it just says make unique appetizers. Well, right. It doesn't <laughs> say I don't know exactly. how someone would you know, sign up for that, not knowing. How many they're going to make? Yes. If I'm going to make one appetizer in two hours, that's going to be way too lengthy. Yeah. Exactly. If it's eight appetizers, right. that would be a good case for me. So. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And I know there are eight stations up there, so okay. you know you would there would be room for you to okay. do it all. Okay. And then are you and then do you take it home? Yeah. Or do you like eat it there? Right. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's about like for is it is right. it take because some of them are like learning like good, good meals for your family. Yes. So are you taking home, or are you just doing? Are you all just doing a sample, and then you eat it there, or do you not? So, so that just to understand, right. and again, that's picking on the culinary one, but that's no, that kind of goes back to the description. You, you, yeah, no, it this is very definitely valuable. right. You get to know more about it, especially for sixty-five or seventy dollars a class. If you're tasting it versus having a meal, that's going to make a difference. Right. right. Yes. Take the meal. <laughs> well, yeah. no, that's, that's, if you think about kind of what other things are out there, that is, there's like the make your meals, right? Yeah. Right. 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 And then the other ones are like. Like, you know, it's a dinner, so you actually yes. sit and eat the dinner after, right? So yes. it's, um, yeah. yeah. Something I find confusing in the details is uh -huh. it says um, some wacky code, I don't understand, and then five to eight. Is that age or grade? It depends. It yes. does depend. Yes. Very, very, very confusing. It is very confusing. <coughs> and we've talked about standardizing yes. to one or the other, and certain program managers who run a big program like neighborhood youth soccer that's all driven by grade so you know but put it in a different font or put it in a different size or color or, or, or yeah all right okay something. yeah no it is definitely that it's confusing so that age grade thing yeah yeah and someone was saying like who's the um, vendor there's two gymnastics things there's tumbling on page 78 yes 
And then there's gymnastics levels one through four. Yes. Right now, but they overlap. Age five to eleven. Age five to eight. What am I doing? Yes. All right. Yeah. We'll bring that up. The other thing that Newfoundland Park District doesn't do that the other, many of the others do is minimum and maximum numbers. So I know how big or small the class is. This is the first edition we left it out. Yeah, I was going to say, usually it's in there. Yes, it yeah. had always been in there, but we thought so many of our customers are registering online. And it's there, you know? Right. So we dropped it out of the print version, but it's always available online. Why did you? Uh, there butter. was a good reason. Let me see. I think in many cases, if I remember the thinking, it was so that we could put the no class dates up there. They sometimes got buried down in the in Yes, the I remember that. Right. So we've been working uh, with different ways of calling out those no class dates. This is like a culinary class with 10 people versus 30. Yeah. Makes a huge difference. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you call out the new classes? I see yeah, you do have in, an in the text, but somewhere else where you list all the new things just for that. No, it's like a we list don't different. have a listing, oh. but we do have an icon by the yeah. description. So in that case, page page you through have it. to page through. I think yes. you get more right. than if you called out the new yes. stuff. I Is there a section for the 95th Street classes now? Or no, there really isn't. They're mixed. Um, that's a good point. Can you search for them online? Just yes, people? online I know like you can go and like, um, but you don't search by site, you search by event. Like so you go, you have to go and find, you know, your, if you want to go to soccer, and then I go look at all the locations for soccer, and then we pick. So it's like, it's not, you know, both ways. It's just, you got to go one way first. I'll yeah, look up it up. Yeah, no, it, it, it would be, because yeah. then you can see, like, all What's like, close to? location yes. and age group, right? I think that's the other part. Yeah, yeah, just regarding the mix-up, I'm looking at Arts Youth, page 49. Yes. Um, eight, ages 8 to 16 for wood carving. Then I'm an Arts Adult, although I really would never be able to tell that without reading the top. That, yes. That and um, dabble in art, 16 and up. Um, yes. But then 14 and up for independent study painting. 13 and up for creative 3D something-something. How did, what, I'm an adult now, but the youth stuff gets to go to an older age than some of the adult, I don't, it's just it's a mystery to me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. This is very good input for us. <laughs> Anybody else want to talk about those descriptions? Have anything else to say about those? All right. We'll move on to, do the program titles provide enough or not enough information? Those would be, as you know, uh, the green above the description. Do you think they provide enough? Just the title. Because if not, you have an underneath. Right? Yes, yeah. the description follows. Yeah. Yeah. And I think just having the uh, vendor be first. We talked about the USY versus Sky Yoga. If that is also in the title. I think we don't care who's giving it necessarily if we're looking for a specific prenatal class. It's may not be as important to us if it's U.S. Y versus. Yeah, yeah. so I think it goes back to the impact we said in the index, right, which says, yeah. like, we want to see all the ballet, and then within the ballet, like, okay, maybe the different vendors are separate, you know, in the classes yeah. that offer, yeah. but not to organize based upon vendor. Right. Organize based upon activity. So I don't know if that vendor needs to be in the title, U.S. Y, it's UNC baby. Yeah. Right. Whatever it is. Yeah. And I believe the distinction was made there because we, um, Sky Yoga, I understand, is now out of business. Yeah. But they were located more s south, and USY, Universal Spirit Yoga, is located behind uh, Naperville North High School. So we were trying to distinguish, you know, if you got familiar with the brand of mm -hmm. yoga, whether it would be more northerly or southerly location. I think that's okay. why, why that happened. Very good points. Okay, do you reference the call-out boxes? 
what do they call them? Boxes? Are they shaded? Yes, the shaded boxes. Do you glance at those thinking, ooh, this might be something I should know? If I'm at the page, not too much. Not too much. It looks like filler to me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't want to do because they're not okay. related, like we said before, I think they're not related to what's going on all the time on that page. And maybe if they were, then yes, but yes. not so much. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm confused, actually, now that you were talking about the yoga being in two different locations yes. being important. But you also sometimes have the location above the course dates, and then for some classes, yes. you split it out, like Jackie's dance is in a couple of different locations, you split it out here, like where am I looking for the location then? It's yes. Different places, depending on what's going on. In Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Our icons currently um, in use, helpful and intuitive enough for you. When you see an icon, F up by the title. Do you understand what we're trying to say? Some of them are a little more difficult to read. Yeah. But they'd be these little circles. They're all shaped. I did. I liked way. it because again, I was looking for the 95th Street stuff. So we called them because that was new. I was like, I could like flip through and just try to find ones that were that. So okay, They're not very different. Yeah. Okay, on page 59, Google Science, Beautiful Biomes, and Coral Reefs. Mm -hmm. There's three of them. Now, the new is good. I like the new. Yes. But 95th Street Center, well, uh, it's, if nothing else, has a location. Yes. Saying, okay, and then no school activity. <laughs> what? That means it's a day off school right. for the children. Is every single day off school listed that way, though? We just want to pick it up and let it go. I wouldn't say 100% because we're depending on many different staff members. Yeah. to tell us that's way to find and some are better than yeah. others and then I guess there's an evening one in here somewhere I saw we're saying it's so hard to see it's so small yes. Yes. Like she, she had a really cute idea she said in the seniors section yeah. everything should be bigger uh, yeah. 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 I like it yeah. 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 Something, something so not particularly it, uh, intuitive, yeah. some of them. Or maybe a list, well, now I'm asking Where is a call out of, of a legend. What are all the symbols? A legend would be helpful. Yeah. Yep. That explains to you. Alright. Anything else about those little icons? Are there any you think we might be missing that you'd like to see? I mean, would you be at like to be able to glance through like 95th Street. Mm -hmm. I like 95th. I like the new. I like the parent child one. Really, okay. You know, those are specific. But that's more specific to what I, yeah, what I so. We had a comment yesterday on what you think about this. If, if we had a free one, would that be useful? Because some programs are at no cost. Yeah. yeah, that's a really good one. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It Price. came up yesterday. Yeah, and I thought call that it was out a good idea. in a special page summarizing. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I just stumbled across a third gymnastics program. Yep. Gym, gym Tigers, which is nowhere yes. near the other two that were next to each other. Right. And that one is an early childhood, four to six year old program, mm -hmm. if I recall. Yep. I uh, expect to find all gymnastics together. Together. That's why. I'm all right. By type together. Yeah. And said that to all baseball together. Yeah. All in the but in the back, right? So you're saying so the question is, well, would you want but be. then so in the back you'd want to see all baseball together, but then in grouping, would you well, just why gonna is, say, say this? Yeah. Would do you want to see early childhood versus youth versus adult? Because Therefore, if there was gymnastics and early childhood, youth and adult, you're going to see them not on the same. And in fact, together. they overlap in age levels. Yeah, literally, because some of these begin at age five and the other youth, and some of these and the, the gym tigers go through age six. So, I, really, I, I can't figure out why they would be, or at least again, cross reference. Say that there is gym tigers. Go to this page. That's the gymnastics like that. section. Yes, yes. So it's like to cross reference it in the in the back in the. Table, you know, in the index, yes. you'd want to see all gymnastics, right? So I know yeah. that there's like three different types and to go to. But if I stopped here, I would never find, you know, flipping through a page, of, oh, okay, I have a six year old, this must be what I'm supposed to take. And I would never continue to page, you know, 37 page later yes. to find out that there were two more offerings for right. a six year old. Gotcha. Yeah, very good points. But that, and that's where we, 
what is an early childhood versus what is a youth, right? So I think that's where you're going is like where is like the yeah, cutoff point okay. of we've the spent age. A lot of time, we have spent a lot of time talking about this. Again, I'm going to reference yesterday's book. And, um, and we can talk about this. I have a few more questions about what you'd like to see. And then, you know, think about if you like those programs, group by age, you know, maybe an early childhood, an elementary, uh, you know, yeah, anyway. But yeah, no, if there's some... If you think that would be helpful. Or if they so, just added it on, like, the tab, early childhood parentheses, age, you know, yeah. zero to Add five those ages on the... So when you're kind of glancing through, you're like, oh, two to six, but, you know... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. One other thing about the five-year-olds, and I've yeah. emailed you guys a couple of times, because my age didn't show up in their letters yeah. or something. You have, say, chemistry fun, ages three to five, Thursdays at 9.15. Half of your park district is in full day kindergarten. Yes. Age five drives me insane. Yeah, yeah. You should get a rebate on my park yeah. feed. I'm serious. It infuriates me. Yep. Like, I understand so, where you're coming from. Okay. Why? Why are you yes. doing that? Yeah. We ask a lot of those same questions. Okay. okay? So please <laughs> feel completely free. And now the other half of 203 is going to be in full day kindergarten. Yeah, I, so. oh, wow. yeah, I just read that. Yeah, I just read that. We're going to be at a customer soon. <laughs> For yes. Thursday morning five-year-olds. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. This is all such great input. Are you adverse to advertising being a part of the program, Doug? Years ago, you guys had a lot of advertising, and it was so busy. Too busy? Too busy. Previous. Yeah, years ago. Yeah. There's a lot. I don't feel like there's a lot in here. No. There's not a lot now. I'm okay no. with this. It's they don't pay good. for it. Yes, this is much cleaner. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And as long as it's appropriate, I wouldn't expect a cigar shop or something to do it. Right. You know, unhealthy. Uh, right. <laughs> right. We're very sensitive to that. <laughs> yeah. And a gentleman brought something up I, uh, yesterday, and it's that our program guide has greater circulation than the Daily Herald and the Naperville Sun. Wow. Now, we're quarterly. We're not, you know, three or four days a week or weekly, but it has a bigger circulation. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Does the number of ads seem appropriate? Yeah. I think yeah, pretty yes. much answered that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Nobody's got a problem. No. Okay. I wouldn't mind more if there was some great coupons. Yeah. <laughs> Like like I saw, I saw yeah. one coupon in here that was like, woo, like really the page. Yeah. 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 Where can I see it? Yeah. 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 A coupon yeah. would be good. Blackfin free appetizer. It's no, especially because uh, I, 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 <laughs> I volunteer for the here. girls' soccer, <laughs> and something bad after soccer it, parties yeah. after the end of the year, after the end of the term. Yes, like a, you know, bring your child in because they something like that. Yep. Like once so, in a while, would be ideal if they gave a. Yeah, I don't care me too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <Right>? Okay. <laughs> that would be a good idea. That would be because you know what? Yeah, I mean after 13 weeks or whatever we play. Sure. Last last fling, we call it. Yes. And we could email those coupons to participants. Oh, or to the coaches, great, assistant yeah. coaches. And, and assistant from, coaches, yeah. and, and then yeah. there'd be so the trickle organize, down. Yep, yeah, we can organize it and go from there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Does a published sponsorship or advertisement in the program guide influence your purchasing decisions? Can we have that? Is that saying Nike Heart or something? We have had ads from there. Look, for instance, let's just look at the back cover. Oh. Page oh, I see. oh, okay. Do you think? Oh. Yeah. Well, maybe I should give them a try. No, no really. it's more about whether my insurance is covered. Yeah. But not yet. Yes, I love it. Yeah. That was a bad example. Yeah. Well, there was an ice cream place in here. I guess I would, if I had seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Cold Stone. Yeah. 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 So for me, like newer to the area, informational, right? Yeah. Like it's yes. like, uh, about things available. There's always new businesses popping up, right? Yes, there so, is. Because so you kind of need more informational than it's like to sway my, but that now that I know about it, yeah. I'm in for it. Right. And I would I would be interested in supporting a company that supports the yeah. local, local yes. stuff. Yeah. 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 Right. 
If you register for a program, do you reference your email confirmation receipt for critical information? Yes. Do you print those, keep yeah. them, yeah. put them yeah. some okay the dates and what day it's not happening if there's a holiday in the middle of it? Yep. All right, good. So that's unanimous. Everybody uses those. All right. Okay. How do you find out about new programs? If you're looking for something new, do you search the program guide cover to cover or just look for the new icon in a particular section? Are you interested in finding out about new programs each season? And how would you suggest making that information more readily available? I think if we grouped them all and said these are new this time, yeah, obviously. Sure. I figured you highlighted it in the or, index. Or, yeah, you know, an outline of it. Yeah, yeah listing yeah, of it. So you don't have to, like, give the full description of right. it. Right. Maybe just, like, here's all the new. Page right. number. Page which, number. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. A lot with the, like, the free ones, the new ones, you know, kind of. Yeah. Right. In that same area. Yeah. I think you guys have done a, a good job, at least online, because I get your emails about what's culinary at the 95th Street. You really have been pushing that. Yes. Or highlighting it, I should say. Yes. yes. We yeah. do. Mm -hmm. And we have some reduced, that. I can't resist. <laughs> we have reduced fees in February and March, so if you're interested, go online. Because if you're looking at your winter program guide, you won't see those reduced fees. Okay, so they're all in there. All right, I have five more questions, so we're way ahead of schedule. And these five questions pertain to a redesign of this program guide, okay? If we were going to do something new with it, all right? What could we do from a redesign perspective to make the program guide better and easier to use? I know we've talked about some ways to make it better and easier, but if you'd like to emphasize something, you know, not be a good time. Some park districts have their table of contents on the right of half a page, so you open the first page and there it is. Instead of at the top yeah. up there? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, it is easier for the human eye to like list go down. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Also, teens is missing. Teen, like a teen guide, kind of. It's yeah. by, pro, by program, possibly. Like I see culinary says teen, but otherwise you're going to have to go through this whole thing. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and if you only have a person that age you're looking for. It's a, that's a lot to wait for. It is. I mean, that goes, I think you said it was on the this reemphasize the consistency, right? Either we take and we group by arts and we show all the, you know, we, we have you define what early childhood is versus grade school versus middle school versus yes. whatever the categories are. Yeah. And you're showing them, you know, consistently. Yes. Or you organize by the age, age. and then within their own. So gotcha. one or the other. Because I think yep. that that's, you know, like you said, you'll miss something if you are only focused in one area. Yes. Or even at the, I see that TOC shows aquatics, but I know there's swimming other places than page 20 and 21. I suspect there's already. Yep. Also, I love the idea that people gave of a, a new page and a free yeah. page. You know, a so lot of park districts put it like on the second or third page. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sort of like as you start out here, we want to draw your attention to something new or. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or free. That's good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and the no school days. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. You dread sometimes the <laughs> yeah, that, that's a teacher good day here. Because yeah. some are in the winter break section yeah. and some are in the regular sections. Like my science classes are in winter and in youth variety. Gotcha. And then, um, I guess it's just an alphabetization thing, but there's beginning yeah. knitting and then I mean, intermediate knitting is on another page. Exactly. We have exactly. knitting together. Or, and you're you know, right. It yeah. is. And yes. You're right. So. Instead of grouping those two related programs right. together. Yeah. So as far as beginning versus intermediate, I guess you want to explain how that's, you know, for knitting, it's like you knit, you know, if you yes. cast on and cast off already, then you're obviously an intermediate or versus. Exactly. Give an explanation of yeah. what makes an intermediate student. Yeah, and some of these standardize how you define different levels of anything. Yes. Or you describe that. I, I would look at the Joann's catalog. That's a good point. Yes. Yeah. 
Yep, and they have nice pictures of the projects you're doing. So um, intermediate knitting, I'm not sure. Oh, you bring your own thing. So beginning, well, I don't know what you're making. So again, you right. might, gee, I might want to, do I want to make a sock or whatever? Yes. I would want to see a picture of what I'm about to make. Yes. Photos are such a great idea. Yeah. Photos are wonderful. Yeah. Such a great idea. And online, but that one specifically, they do call out, I believe, a cowl net, you know, mm -hmm. infinity thing, boot toppers. Right. So, but I, I see what you mean. You might not go further if right. you don't know that. Right. Just right. glancing we'll through. Or you'll clog the phone lines with your people. Yes. Hopefully yeah. they know the answer, <laughs> too. Yeah. I would say, I not know. with reasonable confidence, they do. Okay. So how do you organize those programs? All right. Do you believe user testimonials would be helpful to you when you're deciding which programs to register for? Sure. Yes. Should we do an Amazon rating on the classes? Exactly. Exactly. It's hard to do like a rating, like right? I think it would be yeah. easier to do on the website, of course, mm -hmm. but right. we just were wondering if, in general, testimonials would everyone's going to have a different view of like, Everyone yeah, is. I'm trying to think of any other practice for those that I don't remember ever seeing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I really would have paid to that. Yeah. I would use my judgment more based on. Yeah. suggestions for how to organize and deliver this information and I think we talked about that. Yeah. 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 And can anyone think of anything they'd like to add to that discussion? Okay, we've covered it. Is there information not currently included in the program guide that you would like to see included? Again, vendor. Vendor. Vendor info. I like the minimum or maximum, maximum, but if it's online, that's fine. Uh huh. So I mean, you know, it's nice to have all the information on the heart link and with your child. And they're like, oh, wow, this class is nice and small. Twelve kids, you'll get a lot of attention. Yes. Person, oh my gosh, thirty kids. Yes, exactly. And that was mentioned in the previous group too. That some children are better suited to a smaller group environment. Not to mention the type of class. If it's a science class, smaller yes. is better. Yes. Okay. If, this is our final question. So you're going to have plenty of time to pick up those babies. I'm oh, sorry, one more thing. A, a list, a page listing all the sponsors. You'd like that. Okay, that's a good idea. Something we did in our directory. Yep. At elementary school. Yep, that's a good idea. If articles about park district initiatives, events, facilities were included, and we're talking in this program guide, would you be inclined to read them? For example? Uh, let's say we're getting ready to open a new park, or we've refurbished one, yeah. or like 95th Street, you know, we include, do we include information because we're printing so many of these to say, hey, we want you to know this is available. Yeah, yeah okay. I think definitely like a park related, you know, facility related, yeah. refurbished open, that's good. Or mm -hmm. Right now you disseminate it by email, right? It's yes. Like Most, email. yes. Or you don't you'd be looking Facebook. for I know it. That. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing on Facebook. We're going to approve that. <laughs> um, you know, if you're looking at the website, it's going to be pretty apparent because our all of our current news is on our first page. So, you know, you're going to see it there, but in terms of this publication, you'd also like to see it. It's I think it's like good advertisement, right, of yeah. the parks and the work that's going on in the park district. So yes. That's, I would read that, yes. Yes, good, good. Um, one her play group member mentioned to me that she has been stymied in finding information about the garden plots. Okay. 
All right. You know, where you list that, she's looked online, it's not really here. They contact existing plot leases. There is a priority, yes, you're yeah, right about that. But she never that. got information, of, was never able to find information. Have her to call. Have her call. Yeah. It is coming in the pro. Well, she's saying in past years, like, it's never online, she can't find it, where to sign up for it, nothing. Great. So. That's good information. It is coming in her program guide that will drop on the 14th. Oh, okay. So it's there anyway. But, you know, if it's not where our, our customers need it, then we're yeah. missing the mark. So that's good to know. Anybody have any comments about anything else they'd like to? I don't see a lot of special rec for such a big town. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot in this park district. And even smaller park districts like Glen Allen. Yes. They have tons of W. What is it? WDSRA. WDSRA. Yeah. WDSRA has an ad in each of our program guides. It's really more informational because they are a partner of ours. If you have a child with special needs, they can take any class. Oh. in that program guide. We make arrangements with WDSRA if they need an aid. And we prearrange that and that aid will be there. Okay? So that's how that works. We don't have like special classes. Like they have play dates at Geneva and Batavia Park District. So there's, a, there's another guide though. They, they, have, they, have a, they have a guide themselves. WDSRA yes. does have a program guide. Yeah, so there's, it's just there's, not included. No, if there's another, they have their own Guys. Yes, they do. Right. So if you have a child with special needs, it's a wonderful organization. I'd encourage you to visit their website. Yeah. But please do know that in the event you need that support in any of Neighborville Park District programs, we provide that. Okay? So this looks like one of your not quarterly. Kind of this, this is like a preview of things to come. And it's basically our special events that are coming up in spring. So we had that ready because we've been doing other events and things and we wanted, you know, because we're at the tail end of one guide and not like quite this. there with the other. So it's just a little teaser. But you don't distribute this. It's no. for us. It's for you. I would and, love to see this, uh, but it's, it's it available on a different sites, right? Because like a different, like, you know, like the barn or, you Yes, know. yes. Mm -hmm. It's physically it's available at our facility. Yes. Yes. Because I know, and even like, I have the preschool, and we'll get little packets of things, you know, every yes. now and then that are, that are relevant. So yeah. I think that's good, too, because I mean, these are cross for people who are looking at the um, catalog, you know, yes. about those. Because we know you're busy. That well, things get added, added too. Yeah, I think that's what the part that gets added. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. You should be mailing us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. 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 Now, coming with, I do want to tell you, coming with spring is also your summer camps guide. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that'll be delivered with. All right. And. Um, you said that's coming out February 14th? Yes. Okay. It begins February 14th, which is a Thursday, a week from this Thursday. And it runs, they deliver Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So if you don't get it on the 14th, that's when it begins. But you can't register until the 28th. Yes. That's correct. All right. Are there some things missing from the index? Because I don't see badminton, for instance. Okay. I thought you offered it. Uh, we have a camp. I can't really explain why it wouldn't be in there. But... Um, it may not have been offered in winter. Oh. If it wasn't, it wouldn't okay. show up in there. Anybody else? Any questions? Any comments? Sure. I was trying to look for some more ethnic classes or in the way of cooking or dance or art. Is there okay. more of that coming up? Um, I couldn't really say if there are more. I know we have some. But if there are things missing, you know, that you have an interest in, please let us know that. Please let us know that. And we've noted it. Okay. <laughs> um, regarding classes, can I, I have a couple requests. Um, for your computer class, you have a, for senior, it's noted for seniors, but I don't know if it's for anybody, um, a real basic uh, yes. introduction to computer. 
But there would be a next, you know, the next like level, yes. right? Yeah. Almost like some of the, a couple of the other park districts have almost like a troubleshooting, but you know, basic, you know, not sure. where you're taking apart the hardware or anything. <laughs> yeah. But you know, if you have some issues on how to deal with that, I've seen it at other park districts and libraries. Yeah. So maybe the next step after the sure. computer, and then maybe because um, it's by a dietitian. Um, that would be, yep. you know, I'd love to see that. Yes. Uh, that would be very helpful. And just as a senior citizen, um, the cooking classes and the yoga, I think they're just seem a little pricey. Okay. A little expensive. Yeah. Right. Um, like Sir Latina, yeah. you can get it. Yeah. So if there'd be a way to. Right. So it's like, this is a part of the store. Yeah. This is a part of the store. To lower it somehow. I mean, I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. It'd yeah. be like a senior price one. Yeah. 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 But I mean, not even senior just the seniors, but yeah. Yeah. it just this seems a little pricey. Especially with the accounts. So I look at them and some of them put them trading, but yeah, the choice is yeah, just like the choice. Yeah, I can't justify that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Those are great points. Yeah. Yeah. Great points. Anybody else? Anything missing that you know you'd like to see? You don't. Do you see? coordinate with like the library and um, say the YMCA next door, next door neighbors about what they offer so that like everybody's no. doing a certain kind of yoga? No, we don't. I can just say that frankly. Should we? Maybe. Because mm -hmm. maybe the library offers that next computer class. They yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and they you should do like, research. There's one, yeah. this is an old, but this is from the um, Downers Grove Park District, and they have, call, it's called Quick Fixes and Computer Tips. You know, yep. so that's someone who. So when something know, goes awry, yeah, you know, just, just have to start it. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Uh, which I thought it sounded intriguing. I took one class over there, but. Yes. If you can't think of anything, I'm going to give you my card. I know you have my email address, but this is just another form. And if you get home and say, oh, I wish I would have mentioned this or mentioned that, please feel free to. Yes, you're very welcome. I so appreciate you doing this. The Park District appreciates it very much. It's so valuable for us to have this information. Are you doing separate sessions mm -hmm. on the website versus the that aspect of it, or no? Are we doing class? No, no, no. Classes no, or no. Focus, focus groups on the website. On the we website. actually did okay. when we redeveloped it. Okay. And the redesign is fairly new, but if you have concerns, let us know. Is there it's any reason, I don't know if you addressed this in the beginning, the age, the search by search age? By like, why age, can we not search please. by age or search by grade? Please. All right. We're going to note that. <laughs> it's a huge, it's, yeah, it's huge. huge. Like it's, it it's is huge. Either that or always like say the age in the description just so that you can search on at least number, like, number three, right, or something like that. But it's it's really hard. It's really hard. So I'm sure these things will get missed because of it. Yeah. So. That's a very good point. We'll get that. It's painful. Right to look. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's have to look from where you want. And like, then get that. Like, no, have... great, I found a glass. And oh, wait, no, we don't fit that great. Yes. So. Especially when you have. A program guide with that much volume to it. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. Yes. Either that a group by like like you said, like find a different grouping. Like youth is like so broad, so yes. like, be very specific, yeah. like K through, you know, fifth yeah. or I don't know. Yeah. Such so. good good information for us. Thank you again so much for coming to have some drive home. I'll come get those little half sheets so you can just okay. put you no, you have that so many fans. You've got so many. Really, okay. please. Okay. Here, here are two. Oh, wow. It's so many fans. It's the Park Library books. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It was great to have you. This is such good information for us. Oh, yeah. It's a great offer. Coaching a soccer team. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
So you have a good week. Yes, it is. Yeah. Something like that. I want to learn how to cook Indian. Yeah. I'm so scared. Oh, fun. Yeah. What work should you be looking at? Oh, this is a sheet. There was a sheet. I don't remember where I got it. Did you see that? Yeah. Conversation of like, they, well, they, no, they, and they actually do print like for zero to or three to five versus mm -hmm. you know seven to eight versus you know they yeah. they actually they print out like you know here's what if you're this age range what you would go sign up for and do at least right so I don't know I just because I, I have like eight varied age ranges so you're like you're trying to find things that are appropriate. Like, you know, you've got me or whatever the heck was like, see you at six during the session. Last year and this year, 
It's been very mild, so yeah. I can't complain at all. That's a problem. I have snow. Not my kids. Uh, part of the deal coming here was that we were going to have snow and they were going to get to the sledding. And we haven't had like, enough snow really, really? to sled. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're going to try going, but not like in the sense that they're like, let's go build a snowman. I'm like, I don't think we build a snowman. Yeah, snow. there's only an inch of snow. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So, no, but I, I'm going to give a lawyer on that, so. Yeah. And two moving from a Pleasanton area. Mm -hmm. Why is there no public pool? Like, it just rocks my world. Oh, well, at least to raise family. Like, really? It's so hard because we didn't have, um, and, and we don't have a, a neighborhood one either. Yeah, either. So, you need so, to go to the Pelican Harbor in Bolingbrook so you can close your ears. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> they have a fabulous outdoor area for yeah. little kids too. They have um, taught time in the mornings when yeah. every other pool in, in Naperville is closed because they're doing swim team practice. <laughs> they have um, the shallow end available. It's, all far. it's perfect. Yeah, no, but I, 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 it's one thing I'm shocked that Neighborville does not have is a public pool. I mean, I know we have Sinclair Beach, but 